you love the ball being in the hands of Bryce Gibbs because uh, nine times out of ten he puts it down the throat of a teammate. The Blues looking to switch here. Jamison thought about it and then decided to go straight down the corridor. Direct play and a penetrating kick. Oh, what, what about that? that? Wiggins. I'm not going to be happy until he kicks the goal. And that's what he's got to do because he's one of the... It was a nice grab, though. He really improved last year, Simon Wiggins, and um, they obviously like him at Carlton. He is a very wholehearted footballer. He's the sort of player that I reckon teammates like playing with. You know exactly what you get from him week in, week out. I'd love to see him finish better. Big fist from Jacobs. Yeah, and that, that's OK, Tim. Just do the basics for a big fella in your first game. No heroics. Got to make sure he doesn't get caught behind at these boundary throw-ins. See who Chris Judd had helping him out there on the boundary. None other than dual Brownlow medalist Robert Harvey. There's Gibbs prizing it out of nowhere for the Blues. And almost collected again by Wiggins. He's got good hands. Be a ball up. So middle stages of the third term, the Tigers making no impression. Carlton lead by 47 points. They haven't had to be brilliant to do it. It's been a, a disappointing night so far for Richmond fans. Coming along with hope so high because of this man Cousins returning to league football. But he's given it up here. Wiggins, Cruiser, ran into a wall. That's Brown, the first game of the Ruckman 18-year-old giant. White, Tigers eventually bring it away. Tuck to a one-on-one. -on -one. And Johnson shunted Revolt under it. And the Tiger man reigns. Nice scything ball. Well done, Jamison. Improving defender. They like him at Carlton. Wait to Scotland. Dangerous transition here. Eddie Betts is lurking. And Eddie's running towards an open goal and driving it home. They love him too. Composure across the half back line with weight, composure through the midfield with Scotland, and they just set it up so well. There's the penetrating kick by Reigns. Great closing speed from Michael Jamison to Nathan yeah. Brown there, Wolsey, that affected the spoil. Terrific spoil by Jamison, and that's the value of Heath Scotland. He knows how to bring other players into it. Tigers. He was Tambling. Here's Russell. Got it to Hadley. And the Blues out of danger. Johnson kicks to Wiggins. Short one to Cruiser. Carlton in total control of this match. Right on, They're in front by 53. Move on, play on. Death yours. Cruiser back to Thornton. He'll switch to the southern stand side. Another possession for Russell. Ah. Over to Bauer. Sweeps it to Wait. On the right, then gets back on the left. Shrugs off Russell. McMahon too easily. No, 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 no. Wait into the pocket. No, Ball no, no. still alive for Volas there. Now the handball comes to Betts. It's a spectacular handball. Magnificent teamwork, Carlton. They can't do a thing wrong. It was a fantastic handball, came out of the pack, a huge amount of traffic. It was Mark Murphy who just summed that up so well. It had to be absolutely perfect, and he just laid it out for Eddie Betts so well, and he finished. You will not see a better handball than the one that Mark Murphy delivers to Eddie Betts. We'll get back and have a look at it shortly, but uh, the umpire... Carlton in total control, and there'll be a ball up. It's Mark Murphy, the architect there, perfect weight on the hand pass, and able bets to accelerate onto the ball and weave a passage and kick his second distance. 
And then it just bounces back into the goal square. They can't rush it through. He's caught here, Jacobs, and the umpire will say play on. Gave him plenty of latitude there, and the Blues out of trouble. Richardson missed the mark. It was a tough one. Robinson, oh. Banks, handballs to himself in the end. Gives it off to Houlihan. Exciting stuff from the Blues. Bauer, back to Houlihan once more. Gives out the handball to Simpson, who kicks to Garlitz, and he takes the mark. Everything has worked for Carlton tonight. Garlitz. Pumps it, looking for Favola. He's got to beat a couple. And it's through for a behind. We said at the start of the game, Rob, it was a brave decision by Carlton to play four debutants. Big, strong body, and he's put it in good places tonight. Had a kick in the pants in a practice match earlier in the season, but if anything, it's yeah. done him good. Here's Johnson. <laughs> and he controls the kick beautifully to Betts. Nice hands from Eddie Betts. And Eddie says, slow it down. There's only four and a half minutes to go. Also, a bit of a zone going there. You can see down the ground. Look at the Richmond numbers that have set up. They did that on that uh, centre, uh, that boundary throw in inside uh, 50. And they've got a few numbers back, so they have to be precise with the footy, Carlton. But seem to have summed the game up really well tonight. And while they've slowed it down this last 20 or 30 seconds, they've made the ruck change. Jacob's off, who's done a pretty good job. Cruiser back on. Cameron Cloaker, I like what he brings to the Carlton attack. He's not a prolific winner of possession, but he competes hard. Mm. He can go into the ruck and compete well there, and he's a really good asset. With Cruiser, the young gun, he just provides that extra hard body. Look at the tackle count, 58 to 39, and Hadley in this quarter has had seven tackles for the Blues. Uh, Richo dropping back there. We talk about the tackles quarters, and Carlton does jump to mop up for Carlton. Kicks to Houlihan, who spills it. Now White wins it back for Richmond. Gives it to Foley. Oh, kicks OK. He finds hey, Newman. To McMahon, who's been very quiet. Finds Moore. He's got Richardson on. He ignores him. Gives it off to Thirstfield. And getting his own back. But Carlton control it. And Gibbs kicks to Garlis. The lightly built... Youngster from Swan Districts. Goal with his first kick in league football. And uh, he's got something. He's got a nice kick here. It falls into the hands of Cloak. Really promising performance. And uh, yes, with he and Cruiser capable of going forward, they can uh, provide some extra body and height around Favola. Gibbs, Robinson. And Matthew Cruz has pushed really hard forward here, Tim, from the ruck, and he's calling for the ball long. And now Troy Simmons goes and picks him up, but he's in pretty good position here. Yeah, he's got three or four against him. One of them, Richardson. Eddie Betts has kicked his third of the corner as he just snared the drop and pops it through. And Carlton's lead is out to almost 10 goals. Fantastic sign for a young ruckman in Matthew Cruiser. He's worked really hard in defence and he pushed for this foot. He ran about 100 metres. His opponent didn't want to go all the way with him. And there he was in the goal square. Didn't mark it, but he's created an opportunity. And that is why he will be a very good player, Matthew Cruiser. He can run, he can defend, and he can also win the hit out at the centre square bounce. He's going to be the complete package at some stage. Jeff Garlett having to get out of the way of Betts' kick to ensure that it went through untouched been said to me that Betts might have opened Carlton's eyes to uh, the possibility of uh, brilliant indigenous skills around goal and uh, Garlett is a very interesting recruitment choice and it might have come partly because of Eddie Betts influence. Tim push him forward.